All right, welcome to Mom Studios 101. We are with the Gaffer Project. They just performed here last night, and how was it for you guys? It was awesome, we had a great time. Cool, where are you guys from? We are from Roanoke, Virginia. It's like southwestern Virginia there in the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, it's, it's nice. Cool, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, what's, your, what's your guys' names again? Uh, my name's Jordan, and this is Christian. I'm Christian. Nice. Like you said. Like I said. <laughs> Well, how was your first mom experience? It was great. Yeah, it's a really awesome place. A lot of going, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> it, it, we just wandered around for the first couple of minutes, like checking everything out, and um, all the instruments and everything are super fun for for us music folks. So, yeah, I enjoyed the bathroom. Uh, there's hand soap that says "Wash your sins away." Um, that made me feel really good. <laughs> so, it smells good too. Oh, well that's always good. So how did you guys end up meeting each other? Or like, what's your background as far as getting the band together? Um, you started the band, so you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> I started Gaffer in uh, about 2011, August of 2011. I started doing it as a solo act, just traveling around with other bands. Uh, I, I just had a laptop on the ground and I would just yell poetry. And uh, I was able to travel around a lot and meet a lot of the people and build contacts and was able to tour around with that and then in about 2016 may of 2016 uh, christian joined and started playing drums and i decided i needed to do more than just the computer so i started playing the live live bass guitar and um we're hoping soon we've, we've done stuff as a three-piece with a guitarist and we're hoping soon to be a three-piece again um, so yeah, hopefully in the fall when we're back through again in November, we'll uh, be able to do the three piece again. Nice, nice. What do you say? <laughs> well, I didn't mean to ask you. Like you signed a pig for me earlier. Thank you, by the way. Uh, how did you get the word ragamuffin? Oh, cool. That's a long story. Um, I don't have my elevator pitch yet. Um, I clocked <laughs> in last time at 19 minutes. I'll try to make it a lot shorter this time. Uh, so ragamuffin's a movie. It's about uh, Rich Mullins, and uh, he was a contemporary Christian artist who, uh, in his music, also talked about a lot of real life stuff that at the time was controversial. And I watched the movie in 2014, uh, which led me to move down towards where Jordan was at, and I didn't know him at the time. And basically, it inspired and changed my life. It was a spiritual awakening, if you will, and it led to basically a couple years of living in a van where I did homeless ministry. Uh, I didn't really know why I was doing it, uh, but to me it was the whole uh, sell your possessions and follow. So that's what it did for me. And then I joined a hardcore band off Craigslist, a bunch of strangers, and uh, that was a fun endeavor. Through that playing shows is how I met Jordan. Uh, we just do a gap at the time and uh, that band was ending because not everyone wants to live in a van. I was trying to get everyone in my band to do it. Uh. They're like, Ugh. I'm like, I get it. Uh, so ages are kind of over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it was cool. So I still did that. Um, I thought I was going to go into whatever that would have became if I only did that. But Jordan picked me up, which I'm glad. And uh, basically, where he started his story, it's where it connects. So. Nice. Uh, so Ragamuffin, basically, uh, I always reference that that's where it all started. So to answer your question, basically, uh, I have a tattoo to my fingers as well. Yeah, I noticed a, that. Really. Yeah, it's a, it's a reminder uh, when I'm playing, or that's why it's facing me. And if I'm having a bad day, I, I look at it. Uh, I still have a bad day, but it's to remind yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the story with that, and it's uh, why I'm here, I guess, in the long run. Sounds nice, dude. Yeah. Uh, does anyone ever tell you guys like play like a more aggressive uh, Royal Blood? No, but I'll take it. It's cool. <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, they're a drum and bass. Yeah, no, yeah. Too, I know so. who they are. It's cool. They're to me, I think uh, probably way better and. I like <laughs> UK stuff, and so it's cool. Hopefully, we could play together. Yeah, yeah, personally, cool. I like you guys a little bit better now. Oh, like, okay. Thank you. Yeah, like, we'll, we'll allow them to open for us sometime. Yeah, yeah sure. We'll pencil it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Future plans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you could make that happen, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can pull some strings, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. That's cool. Sure. No, it's cool. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment. No problem, dude. Yeah. You guys are sick. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, any future plans on coming back here? Yeah, of course. Yep. Yep. You guys will allow it. Oh. <laughs> we understand. Already, that's already taken care of. My boss man right over there. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
Awesome. <laughs> you can't see him. He's, he's over there. <laughs> Pulling the strings behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're planning on, on repeating the same tour uh, again in November. So we'll be back through hopefully in uh, November of 2018. Yep. Nice, guys. Mm -hmm. Well, heard it first here, guys. Gaffer Project, Jordan, Christian, killing it tonight. Hopefully going to be back soon. Stay tuned. We are going to have the XY Spaces right next.